Hello, welcome to this video about Unique Network. Today I will explain how sponsored transactions and app promotion staking on Unique Network will work and how the stakers and users will benefit from that. Sponsored transaction fees are one of core advanced properties of Unique NFTs. Other notable properties are scheduled transactions, refungibility of NFTs and renting and delegating NFT to other parties. Also, NFTs minted on Unique Network will be able to own other NFTs or fungible tokens. We are familiar with this nesting concept from Remark. NFTs will be also able to communicate with other NFTs and impact the properties of linked assets. And recently Unique team published this update about app promotion staking, which will combine Unique token staking with sponsored transaction fees. Now what are sponsored transactions? Usually it is end user of the DAP who has to cover the transaction fee. To cover transaction fee on any network, DAP user needs to hold the native token of the network. The innovation of sponsored transaction lies in the fact that Unique will allow to sponsor users transaction fees for NFTs, fungible and refungible collections and also for smart contracts deployed on Unique. When the transactions for a particular dApp built on Unique network are sponsored, all users of this dApp only need to have Unique wallet and address but they don't need to hold any unique balance on their wallet. Thus, sponsored transactions will enable to remove extra friction for end users and will create much smoother user experience. Because new adopters of Web3 apps will be coming from Web2 and these people often have limited blockchain knowledge, the transition of these Web2 users to Web3 environment must be as painless and seamless as possible. That's why Unique comes with this concept of sponsored transactions for the dApps which are built on Unique Network. The solution which will enable sponsored transactions is called App Staking Promotion and it will incentivize Unique stakers who are willing to log their funds and provide them for sponsoring in exchange for lifetime rewards. Transaction fees sponsoring will be done through Promotion App and will be financially powered by both inflation and staking of Unique tokens. Initially, Unique Network will provide tokens to be utilized to cover transaction fees of dApps, but in order to also involve community and token holders, this app promotion will also enable token holders to lock their Unique tokens to promote a certain dApp in exchange for staking rewards. Once users lock their Unique tokens, the stake Staking rewards will be generated by network inflation that put into the treasury and this treasury will cover transaction fees for dApps. Later the dApps will pay off their sponsored fees back to the treasury and from this treasury the stakers will receive their staking rewards. The stakers will receive two types of rewards, short term and long term. Short term rewards is the guaranteed portion of rewards that will depend on the activity on unit network. The long term reward will be comprised of network fees that will be produced by applications which were supported from this app promotion program. 50% of fees generated by the dApps will be distributed to the stakers proportionally to their staked amount and the number of days they have been staking. So this mechanism is designed to incentivize dApp developers to come to build on Unique as well as Unique token holders to stake their tokens to generate staking rewards. On the other side, thanks to the fact that transaction fees on dApps will be sponsored, the users of these dApps won't have to hold Unique token and won't have to worry about paying transaction fees. App promotion staking will be deployed in three phases. Functional staking, but still with just a very minimum of functionality, should be launched in 6 to 10 weeks. Then full version of staking will be deployed in around 6 months. And finally, in version 2.0, Unique holders will be able to lock their tokens for specific applications. Apparently, Unique aims to do something similar to what Astar Network does. Astar also incentivizes dev developers to build on Astar as they receive a significant portion of newly generated tokens from inflation and ASTR holders can stake their tokens directly on dApps. Unique is not the first parachain that plans to enable sponsored transactions. Also, Subsocial is implementing free transactions mechanism for their Subsocial app. Although users will still need to hold sub tokens and log them on the parachain to get a certain number of free transactions per day. 
So this seems to be a new emerging trend. Gavin Wood in his talks mentioned several times that the necessity to hold the token to be able to interact with devs on the network might be a major obstacle for mass adoption of Web3. Let me know in the comments how big barrier do you think transaction fees could be for a mass adoption of Web3. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next video.